to anyone who steps across that cage from me, you better be ready because any Tiger Shulman fighter is going to be ready by any means necessary. I'm going to go out there, I'm going to get my hands on you first. We want to be the 1%. The 1% are the ones that get recognized. What's up, guys? I'm Ryan Burgos, fighting out of Tiger Showman's Mixed Martial Arts. I'm 20 years old. I fight at the flyweight weight class, and I'm making my pro debut May 14th. So on a normal training day, I wake up. I like to wake up with a little bit of time to relax and eat my breakfast. Then I take my car to my brother's house. From there, we drive about 40 minutes to Elmwood Park, New Jersey. I love oatmeal, high carbs, high protein. This is like my favorite, 12 grams of protein and a bunch of carbs, 31 grams, so I usually eat two packets. It's super simple, super easy on my stomach, it's not too heavy, works out great for me. So they got a couple good flavors, maple and brown sugar is my favorite, I like the chocolate one too. That's not mine, I swear, I'm, wa I'm watching what I'm eating, so this is, this is not for me, I swear. I have an old Nissan Sentra that has fallen apart, and as much as it bothers me that I have this shitty little car, it's kind of like a lesson. It's humbling, you know? I know I belong in a nice car. I know that. It was like an instant connection. Like, first class, I remember trying to punch through my instructor's hands. Like, a lot of kids don't really have that aggression. I feel like I was born with that, aggr that aggression. I can't really explain it. I feel like like a, a in, another instinct. I feel like I'm gonna give it my all. It's, this career is not a long career, but um, it's definitely eventful. I started training at Tiger Showman's when I was five years old. So growing up, I was a huge WWE fan. It was everything, and I, I remember finding out it was fake, and I was like, what? And then all of a sudden, my brother comes up to me, he's like, hey, you wanna watch real WWE? Like, this is real, real. I remember seeing Chuck Liddell throwing like huge haymakers, and I was just in my house, like, trying to be Chuck Liddell, literally, and I would be like, ah. That was huge, and I remember instantly being like, I need to watch this all the time, and I need to do it myself. It's great having a UFC fighter as a brother. For one, the accountability is, that's everything. After the first left kick, Every time my brother fights, it gives me, and everyone around him, just an insane amount of motivation to just do everything the right way and you will get your results. Self-discipline, we get taught at a young age. That's why I think it's critical to get into this sport at a young age. That was what I did. So at five years old, immediately I was being told what I should and shouldn't be doing. Now, pretty humble where it was. And being held accountable by my parents, my brother, and most importantly, my sensei. Growing up, my first ever instructor was Sensei Jose Montez from the Tiger Showman's Woodbury location. Now it's New Windsor and he was very, uh, he was very drill sergeant-like. Not in a bad way whatsoever. We still had fun, we still played games, and it was such a crucial time in my life that the self-discipline I, I had at that age, I was myself, I had this confidence, I never had self-esteem issues really, and I directly give all the credit to that to my Sensei Montez.
I like to set short-term goals. So, of course, the ultimate goal is UFC world champion. That's the plan. That's what's going to come into fruition one day. But right now, my goal is to be the CFFC flyweight champ. I set that goal for myself when I was 13 years old, 12 years old, when I watched my brother fight for CFFC. CFFC, I Give me that belt. Because I want to be just where he is, but a little bit closer to the belt by the time I'm his age. That's, that was the goal I set, and I'm within a couple years of accomplishing that ultimate goal. I don't watch football, don't watch baseball, don't watch soccer. They just don't interest me at all. I live, sleep, eat, breathe MMA. As a Burgos, I feel like it's just in our blood to just go forward. It's, it's always forward. I don't like to back up. It's more tiring when you back up, and I can get my opponent more tired when I'm backing them up. We're in your face all the time trying to get that finish by any means necessary, whether we can jump on a choke, jump on an arm, or knock a block off. I think we can finish the fight at any given moment. That's why we just always go forward, always forward, by any means necessary, by any means necessary. I will win.